Let's visit one of the busiest air traffic control tower in Latin America. Blanco 9407, buenos días. Continúe. Y el desechan que no 4 derecha es número 2. Voy a esperar antes de ver a 1, 2, 1, 8. Muchas gracias, 4, 1, 6. La gente es 4893, autorizado por allá, salida normalizada para por 4 Romeo Transición Orega. Right now I'm 70 meters above the ground. It's quite daunting looking down. The whole airport is in the downtown here, surrounded by mountains. And what's interesting is also the types of airplane flying here, from DC-3, 727 to the modern Airbus 320, 787, 350, and of course we have 747 as well. We have two runways. The north runway, one for left and three to right. The south one, uh, which is one for right and three to left. Both operate simultaneously with landings and uh, takeoffs with a movement of about 1,100 operations per day. The third airport when it comes to passengers in Latin America and the number one in cargo in the whole LATAM with six control positions, uh, including the supervisor one. We have clearance delivery, we have south ground and north ground to divide the workload. And the towers operate in, in the, they're independent, so we have a controller uh, for uh, north tower and one for the south tower. So I'm starting my tour in the tower position here. This is the North Tower. William's going to introduce us about how the tower works. If you can see this aircraft is approaching, we're going to see it in about four minutes. But the approach guy, he's putting the aircraft in these two lines. This is North Runway, South Runway on the downside. And this two like railway track is the approach path. That line is eyeless approach. It's a procedure for the aircraft to be lined up for the, for the runway. And the approach guy is about to give it, give it to us in uh, 12 or 13 miles. And we can take the hand off and take the aircraft with us to continue the final approach for the runway. In this airport, I see so many types of airplane. There are turboprops, slower turboprops, there are jets. What are the separation of all the traffic Good here? Good question. A standard separation for aircraft departing, for instance, we have to use two minutes, two minutes. but. If we are going to depart medium aircraft or heavy aircraft, if behind is a small aircraft, we can uh, depart it with one minute, just one minute. But if the small aircraft, we are going to depart it first, we have to wait like five minutes because the other aircraft is going, they are going to reach the aircraft. That's why when we have uh, like a six or seven aircraft and we don't have aircraft approaching, this is the time for us to depart as many aircraft as we can. How many landings and how many departures per hour? Yeah, it is around uh, 40, 40 departures, both for runways, and around 34 landings, both runways in total. So it means like 74 operations per hour, both runways. So I'm with a young lady from ATC. This is Sierra. And today is her first day at work in the busiest tower in the country. So congratulations to be here. Tell us, how did you make it here? Okay, like I started to know about aviation because my mother worked in the airport for 30 years. And she one day she said like, let's go to the, but actually it was to the old tower. She showed me the tower and she said like, this is the coolest job in the world, so you have to do it. Then she brought me to the aeronautical center that is the one where we study. I did my studies and because of my grades, I was able to choose the airport that I wanted and I wanted to work here in Bogotá's airport. And today is my first day. How do you feel seeing all the traffic, 1100 movement a day? I'm very excited and I'm very happy. I have really good traffic today. For example, today I have Emirates, I have Turkish Airlines, I have like the international traffic. It was amazing. Also, one of my friends was uh, flying a plane and he heard me. And he said like, wow, Sierra, you are, and he was like, congratulations. And all the pilot said like, congratulations, Sierra. So it was nice. It feels wonderful. I think the accomplishment <laughs> was there. You were talking to Emirates, the biggest plane, 777 landing here. 
Yes. That's amazing. Yes, actually, that was one of the first planes that I ever took in my life. It was the Emirates plane. So I was following Sierra on her break and she was spotting the 747 <laughs> National Airline just landed. What's your favorite airplane? You're a plane spotter as well. Yes, um, I love to do plane spotting. And my favorite plane, it's the 777 of, um, of Turkish Airlines. Turkish Airlines? Yeah. No Avianca, Colombia. <laughs> but I used to live in Turkey, so that remember, when, when I see the Turkish Airlines plane, I remember my life in Turkey. I, I love to hear the pilot. Sometimes I say like, um, Teşekkürler or uh, Merhaba. Merhaba. Or I say like Kolaygas and like I love to talk with Turkish pilots. Turkish X01 and Road Tower, Iak Shanlar, do you have inside traffic confinement? Affirmative, yes, traffic inside Turkish X01, Iak Shanlar. After 320 on final, line up and wait after. Turkish X01, heavy runway 1 for right, wind 110 degrees 9 knots, clear for takeoff. 3 for take off from a 1 for right to Kishay 01. Turkish Kishay 01, heavy contact 119.65 EU Shushlet. 119.65, bye bye to Kishay 01, thank you. How do you feel? I think you spoke with Turkish pilots. I'm really happy. Like, I'm very happy that that moment was a videotape. Like, that was amazing. He sounded really Turkish and I was able to say, like, goodbye. It, it was really, really, really nice. He understand you? Yes. He say yes. something back to you? In Turkish, yes. Like, just like small phrases, like, but it was amazing. <laughs> What a beautiful view from the control tower. Here's my friend, Maito Plain. He's an ATC working here, and you have a YouTube channel. What's it called? Yes, my YouTube channel is Maito Plain. Gracias por estar en Colombia, Sam. Thanks for coming to Colombia. Bienvenidos a todos, a todos los amantes de la aviación. Los espero en mi canal. We hope everyone can enjoy the aviation here. No, ATC is a challenging, very, very high pressure job. So this is the brick room for them to enjoy. And what's better is the brick room with a beautiful view of 360 of the airport. We have, we have two colors. This is very important in Bogota. We have two runways. The yellow color is for the procedures that the aircraft is going to make a left turn and the red ones because they are going to make a right turn. Because you have a mountain in the background, so you have to make left or right to left avoid right. terrain. There's no option, left or right. Here's how the departure works in the ATC tower. It all starts from this position, which is clearance delivery. Let's follow a Avianca 320 in the background. The pilot's ready to depart. He will call up the tower, request for pushback. That's how it all started. This is 4893, so after the plane pushed back, the pilot will switch the frequency in his radio, and now he's talking with the ground controller in the tower. Correcto. La Alfa Sierra continúa en kilo November, mantiene antes de hora, antes de hora 1.8. Daniel is one of the ground controller, one of the busiest positions here at the tower. So you just clear Avianca Express 4893, which is the A320. Tell us more about it. It's pushing the spot number 30. Uh, you can show with the screen, Avianca Express 4893. And in approximately five minutes, this aircraft is ready for taxi, and the, the taxi instructions will be Foxtrot Echo My Kilo, and then to the holding point, one one for right. Every time you talk to someone on the plane, you tap on your foot. Yeah. Yeah? This is for the 
basically like push the button. Yeah, I have the two ways to communicate it. For the PTT, this is the button. Uh, push this, this device. Delta 9, operator de Bravo 1, 1,8. Thank you, Gracias, 416. Tanque Express 4893, buenos días. Después del 320 la tanque sale, posición y mantiene 14 derecha después. After some time for taxiing, the pilots now switch to another frequency, which is the tower frequency, requesting for takeoff clearance. Avianca 9521, pista 14 derecha, viento cruzado 070 grados 5 nudos, autorizado a aterrizar. Autorizado a aterrizar 14 derecha, Avianca 9521. Avianca Express 4893, salidas 119,65, buen vuelo. So after the control tower is not the end, I'm following Mato to his workplace. Welcome to Bogota Control Center. Welcome to Bogota Control Center. We have here nine uh, positions, nine uh, control positions. Uh, in that area, we have the upper uh, sectors, and in this area, we have the lower sectors. And we have like a 3,000 movements, for example, over flights between Ecuador and uh, USA, Europe to Peru, for example, that kind of flight. Ah, so let's say a flight from Miami to Argentina, for it example, will go through your FIR. Yeah. So you example. are talking to different levels, high level, middle level. Earlier we saw a Avianca 493, we followed the clearance, taxi and takeoff. After takeoff, I guess it will hand to the control center here? Yes, and after that they let them airplane climbs until passing 20,000 feet and they are going to switch to the upper control area. So looking through this radar, you're just looking at digits and numbers. You're not looking at the plane outside at the control tower. So they look daunting to me because there's a bunch of data. <laughs> it's all moving as well. So I guess you break into smaller area. You work in a smaller area within the radar. Yes. And uh, am I right? This plane, let's say this plane's outside your radar. Yes. If he comes near, it will become your area. You will speak to the pilot. That's right. He's going to call th that frequency and the controller right. has to control it. Okay, so he'll call you first yes. with the right frequency. Then you can answer. Yes, that's I right. See. One area I'm very interested in is how do you avoid mid-air collision because you handle so much traffic. Uh, in my screen, the system can predict the path um, two minutes before the planes could uh, collide. I have enough time to tell ta uh, pilots to change altitudes or to change heading or something like that. But I have with uh, enough time to do something. Ah, the system will actually point it out. Yes. Highlight there will be a possibility, so they will inform you ahead of time. Yeah, that's the reason that we are. So we it works similar, like inside the airplane cockpit, there's a TCAS to avoid a collision as well. In the system, we have the capability to link two planes, and the system tell me what is the distance so far of two of these two planes, yeah. and what about the beating to Very. each the beating of two ah, planes. So that's good. You can actually link up. You can see now they're about 16, 17 nautical miles apart. So yes. you know if they're heading closer or away from each other, right? Yes, and the system predicted that they are going to be at uh, four uh, miles, but uh, different levels. So, ah, so it's we're more, safe. Uh, yeah, we're safe. safe. Good. When you think about air traffic control, the tower of an airport probably comes to mind. However, the ATC system is much more complex than that. The system may include radar controllers, towers and centers are crucial for preventing collisions and keeping our sky safe for tens of thousands of passengers. I hope this video gave you a general impression of how ATC works in Bogota with 1100 movements a day. Thanks for watching.